This year is probably the most complicated build system of all time, but I'm here to help y'all. In today's video, we're gonna be going over this build I found, which I believe to be the best ISO build in the game. Yes, that's right. I already broke the build system in NBA 2K23. I'm gonna show you guys why this build is going to be elite at everything on the court in NBA 2K23. So make sure to drop a like on this video for more 2K23 videos. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new. And let's get into this banger, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And boy, oh boy, did I find what I think is the best all-around ISO build in the game. Now, let's show you guys this build. I'm telling you, do not skip around because I'm going to be explaining why I did every single thing I did because... This is the most complicated build system of all time. I literally have a whole notes page here on one of my monitors to see what I need for certain badges, what stats, what wingspan, all this different stuff. I got charts out here to make the build I just made, and it still took hours to find and hours to make, okay? So just bear with me and let me explain because there's there might be something that you look at on my attributes and you're like, oh, heck no, this build is not it. But trust me, it's based, it's literally impossible to have like an all around build that can do everything. So there's going to be things that you have to say no to, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, just listen to what I have to say, because I'm telling you, this is the build. Y'all already know I always make the best ISO builds and I got y'all with this one today. Now, when it comes to position, by the way, this is current gen and next gen. It's the exact same builder, except current gen is not going to have the tiers. So you don't have to listen to me when it comes to badges as much. But otherwise, it's exactly the same, okay? Now, when it comes to position, you don't want to go point guard. You never want to go small forward. And you never want to go center when it comes to any build in this game. Either go shooting guard or power forward, depending on what kind of strength you want. Now, strength is very important this year. So I'm going power forward, which gives the most attributes and badges. And it's going to give me a higher strength. Now, handness, I always go left. Uh, that's just what I always do. And y'all already know we going with number one for my boy D Rose. We always go number one. So we're going to go ahead and continue on to the next thing. Now we got to choose our height, weight, wingspan, and body shape. Now height, I was thinking about a lot of different things. Now in past years, I had to go shorter. I had to go like 6'4 or 6'3 or 6'5. And I liked in 2K20 when I can go taller, 6'6, 6'8. So I was thinking about 6'6, 6'7, 6'8. I looked at 6'8. I looked at 6'7. I looked at 6'6. I looked at all of them. 6'6 is the best height for an ISO build, okay? We're going to go with 6'6. Now, when it comes to the weight, every year we're always used to going minimum weight. That's not what you're going to want to do this year, okay? Strength is the most important thing. It doesn't matter if you want to drive or play defense. Strength is going to be huge for driving to the basket. It's going to be huge for playing defense. It's going to be huge for rebounding. It's going to be huge for blowing by people. It is literally going to be very important. Strength is literally almost as more important than speed this year. And as you can see, let's look at a couple of my stats right quick on the right. Now, these aren't going to be all the stats I get immediately. It's not going to be a demigod, but let's look at a couple of things. So my strength at minimum weight is a 76. My speed is a 90, my acceleration is an 86, and my speed with balls is an 87. Those are going to be the, the stats we want to look at. Now, speed with ball is basically how fast you are with the ball in your hands. Speed is how fast you are with the ball not in your hands. So speed with ball is actually way more important than speed. So look at speed with ball and strength, because those are the most important things. So this is minimum weight. Now let's go to max weight. Look it, I only lost two speed with ball but I gained 23 strength. I went from a 76 strength to a 99. I went from an 87 speed with ball to an 85. And I only lost two speed, but I did lose like seven acceleration, but that's not nearly as important. Speed with ball is the most important thing, okay? Now we're gonna wanna go somewhere in the middle when it comes to weight, okay? Now, a little hint for you guys, another reason to go a very heavy weight, you actually get more attributes with, available to yourself when you actually go to the next step to upgrade your build with a higher weight. I don't know why that is, but I'm going to throw up a uh, screenshots later in this video when I show you the final stats of what this build looked like at 253 pounds compared to the weight that I do, which is actually going to be 261 pounds. That's literally only eight pounds lighter, but I got way more stats. Now, max weight would obviously be 265 pounds, but we're going to go four pounds less 
because that is going to give us a plus one acceleration at 80 and we're still going to have a 99 strength available to us if we want to put it to a 99 right now another thing about wingspan and before we actually go to wingspan a little tip for you guys when it comes to height your wingspan does not affect your ball handle at all like it did in previous years on build 610 or shorter okay so that's something to note so my ball handle is not going to get affected at all so things that are going to get affected are what lock rebound um all the other defensive stats my shooting so really everything goes up when i put up my wingspan the only thing that goes down is my shooting so obviously i'm not going to have a 98 three-pointer uh, at the end of my build and i'm you're probably like why well i'll show you later why but yeah that's just not gonna happen so i'm probably still gonna go with an 85 three-pointer regardless and the reason i like 85 three-pointer is i saw a lot of clips of people playing and you can shoot from really deep half court i'm talking about consistent with an 85 three-pointer we're gonna go max wingspan this is gonna give us way better defensive stats way better in everything basically and just lower the shooting a little bit which isn't gonna matter too much okay now body shape it really doesn't matter too much honestly define looks fine to me build looks okay i'm gonna go compact though so yeah there we go 6'6 261 pounds which is almost max weight and max wingspan and we're gonna go on to the next thing now this is probably going to be the most confusing part so i'm really gonna like, try to explain everything to you guys very carefully because this is very confusing now whether you're on current gen or next gen it's not gonna matter these are gonna be the best stats but if you're on next gen as well, I'm going to explain to you when it comes to these tier badges, what's going on. So if we click um, Y right here, we can look closer at these badges. There's tier one, tier two, and tier three badges in every category. Tier one are the best badges. Tier two are the second best badges. And tier three are the third best badges. Okay. Now, when it comes to tier one badges, you're going to want to write this stuff down. Okay. Because this is what helped me make my build. Tier one badges bronze badges cost cost one badge point silver two gold three four hall of fame tier two badges a bronze badge cost three badge points silver four gold five and six for hall of fame tier three badges you need to not only have 10 badge points equipped between tier one and tier two but you're it's also going to cost you five for a bronze badge six for a silver badge seven for a gold badge and eight for a hall of fame badge now something else to note okay so write that, that those a couple of those things down to help you make your build something else to note is there's something called a core badge now there's going to be challenges you're gonna to have to do to unlock core badges i'm already knowing i'm going to complete those challenges so i'm going to take those core badges into effect when making this build but basically a core badge is basically a badge that you can put on as a core badge that makes it to where those badge points that that badge would have costed is going to go down to zero so it's basically a free badge so let's say i wanted bully as a free badge i would actually need to have 10 badge points equipped between tier one and tier two and then if i want hall of fame bully that's going to cost eight ba badge points i'm still going to need enough badge points to get that badge unlocked to put it as a core badge so I would need at least 18 badges in any of these categories to get a Hall of Fame Tier 3 badge. I would need at least 17 badge points to get a gold Tier 3 badge in any of these for free as a for free as a core badge. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, maybe rewind and listen to me again, but that's the best I can explain it. Now, another thing to know before we start upgrading this player, there is no plus four at 99 overall. That doesn't exist anymore, okay? It does not exist. The only plus four there are is Gym Rat, which is only going to be to physicals. And it's also confirmed, let's say I get Hall of Fame, whatever badge at 99 strength, and I put this build to a 95 strength, and then I get Gym Rat, which gives me a plus four, 99 strength. I'm not going to unlock that Hall of Fame. So the plus four physicals don't actually make you unlock other things. They just make you play better in game. Okay. If that makes any sense. Now, what you're going to notice early on is let's say I want to get a 99 three pointer. The overall is going to start going up on the right. You can only go to 99 overall, obviously. So 86 three pointer. Oh, let's get a max dunk too. And yeah, 99 dunk. That's a W and let's get a 99 perimeter defense. Yeah, let's go. This is going to be a W build, right? Um, Let's go ahead and max that ball handle too. Let's just max everything. Oh, I'm already at a 99. Look it. I'm already at a 99. So no, you can't just upgrade whatever you want. Okay. Look at I have I have no pass accuracy, no speed with ball. I didn't even touch my physicals yet, which are also very expensive. So basically, what I'm trying to say is 
just like in years past when you were making builds that could do a little bit of everything just like my four-way goat build on 2k22 current gen that's not gonna happen anymore that's impossible it's not happening you're gonna have to choose some stats like maybe a driving dunk or maybe a three-pointer or maybe a perimeter defense that are just gonna be trash so you can be somewhat decent in the other four categories and when i say categories i'm talking about physicals as a one category defense another category playmaking another one shooting another and driving another there's gonna be one of these categories that you're not gonna be good in if you want to make a good build okay now another thing before we start upgrading this player is some stats here actually cost more than other stats so for example if i max out my interior defense i'm still gonna have way more overall left over there's certain stats that take up overall so instead of spending like attribute points you have to look at the overall on the far right it's like oh my god how many attributes i could fit until i hit 99 some of these attributes are worth more value when it comes to overall than others so driving dunk is going to take a lot of overall from you three pointer as well ball handle speed with ball speed and acceleration perimeter defense those are some just to name a few that take up a lot of overall fast another thing to note is let's say i'm hovering over close shot everything that's highlighted in yellow is something else it affects so if i upgrade my close shot some of these other things that are highlighted are gonna start to be affected as well so now that i have all that out of the way i know it's a lot of confusing stuff rewind if you need to but i needed to explain that to you guys so you guys could understand why i made this build and why the stats are the way that they are so the first thing i'm going to do when it comes to upgrading this build is get to an 80 layup now what an 80 layup is going to do for me is unlock the michael jordan layup package which is the best layup package in the game and layup packages are going to be a lot more important this than in this year than they are usually if you have a bad layup you're not gonna just come out here and make all your layups because your layups are gonna be slower, your animations are gonna be worse, they're gonna be more blockable, all that stuff. And I wanna be able to finish at the lane decently enough to the point where if I go up for a lot wide open layup, I'm not gonna get blocked and I can also finesse my way around the rim when I need to, okay? Now, before we move on to anything else, we're gonna go ahead and look into these baddies. Now, a couple baddies that I want that are gonna be very good when it comes to finishing are Masher and Fearless Finisher. Now, for Master, I need a 73 close shot for Silver. So what am I gonna what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put my close shot right to a 73. Now I'm gonna have eight finishing badges and I'm gonna have enough for my layup, enough for my master. When it comes to tier two badges, silver badges cost four badge points. So four on fearless finisher, four on master. Boom, there we go. That's eight uh, badge points, and I got everything I need. So I got everything I need for finishing. Now you're probably like, okay, are you going to upgrade anything else? Yes, my finishing is going to be one of my worst on paper things. But what you guys don't understand is how important strength is this year. Strength combined with my layup is going to make my finishing insanely good on this build. Now, it's not going to look like it is on paper, but it is. So we're going to put my strength to an 89. And it's going to be a 93 when I have gym rats. Now, an 89 strength with an 80 layup and a 73 close shot with Silver Fearless and Silver Masher might not seem like enough to finish at the basket on paper, but I'm telling you right now, it's going to be overpowered as hell with this build. Wait until I drop this gameplay. It's going to be crazy. And like I said, there's going to be one of those categories that you cannot upgrade if you want to have a balanced build. And that category that I'm going to be choosing is finishing. But with my combination of strength and layup, my finishing is still going to be good on the court. Okay, so we this is how I'm going to finesse the system a little bit because it's hard to finesse the build system this year. Now, anyways, we're going to move on to shooting. I'm going with an 85 three-pointer. Now, I could go with 86, but I'm not going to go to 86. 85 is good enough. I Like I said, we want to fit as many attributes as we can into this 99 overall cap that we have. I'm going to want 18 shooting badges. is not going to be enough for me. So I'm going to go to a 79 mid-range, and that's going to give me 22. Now, I'll tell you why I'm going to need 22 shooting. A tier one guard up badge is a very good badge. That's going to cost three. Amped is another one that's going to be six. And then I'm going to put Silver Green Machine. That's going to be 10. So that's 10 badge points. Now I unlock tier three badges. Now I'm going to have a free tier three badge when I unlock that core badge. So I'm going to put that on Deadeye. Then I'm going to have Silver Limitless Range, which is going to be six. So now that's 16. And then Silver Blinders. That's another six. That's 22. And I get three tier three badges. That's insanely good. Okay. Now you have to understand this build is 6'6 six, six max weight, basically. And we're going to be moving devious. 
max ball handle 93. Now you're probably like, oh hey, why go a 93? At 92, you unlock all the dribbles in the game. Yes, you're right. Now at first I was gonna go 89 just to unlock Hall of Fame quick first up. But then I was like, okay, why not go to 92 so I can unlock every dribble move in the game? And yes, this build's gonna be able to unlock every dribble move in the game that comes out all year long. So yeah, we're gonna go 92, but guess what? Mismatch Expert is a very good badge this year. And guess what? If we go to 93, we get that on gold. So yes, we're gonna max the ball handle. Now speed with ball, I told you guys earlier in this video, speed with the ball is more important than speed. That's how fast you are, are gonna be with the ball in your hand, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and put that to an 85, max it out. That is very fast for this game. You guys are used to 99 speed, 99 this. That's not how it's gonna be this year speeds are going to be very low this year 85 speed for a 66 player i'll show i'll throw up a screenshot on the screen there were some other youtubers that was helping make make, make builds they had six three builds that had an 85 speed ball okay we are six six max wingspan max weight anyways pass accuracy is going to be huge because there's no bullet passer and we want our passes to be fast and accurate and not slow so we're going to go up to a 73 and that's gonna give us 23 playmaking badges. What are we gonna put these badges on? Hall of Fame quick first step. That's gonna be a badge that not a lot of people are gonna be able to afford or have. But guess what? We're gonna have it on a 6'6 max weight, max wingspan player. So that's going to be six badges right there for Hall of Fame quick first step. Silver unpluckable, that's going to be 10. Now we unlock tier three badges. We're gonna get a free one from the core badge system, which is gonna be killer combos. Then we're gonna spend seven on mismatch expert. So that's gonna be 17. And then we're gonna spend six on handles for days, which is going to be 23, okay? Now this is gonna be crazy because what a lot of people that have worked for 2K or played the game early, guess what they said? They said the best badges for small guards to break down defenders and score on them from the three point line easily is killer combos and mismatch expert. Guess what we have? Both of them on gold. So, and this is once again a 6'6 max wingspan max weight build that's ridiculous anyways that's gonna be it for playmaking now we're moving on the defense now you're probably thinking okay there's no way this dude with this high of a weight this high of a wingspan this high of a height with that much ball handling that much shooting and good enough driving and that much high strength is gonna be able to have good defense and still max out his physicals guess what we definitely are interior defense is going to be an 85 that is ridiculous for a guard build that is going to be isoing everybody no one is scoring on us in the paint all those slashers and those six nine demi guys that are going to try to abuse the slashing in this game not on this build 85 interior defense we're going to get an 86 perimeter defense so we can guard all those guards as well which is going to give us silver clamps and gold challenger another thing we're going to do is upgrade that steel to an 85 so we can unlock the glove badge another thing we're going to do is once again block is going to definitely affect our shot contest so we're going to max that out so we can get all those block animations as well now our rebounding is looking a little weak but once again even though this is a power forward position this is going to be a guard build okay we're going to run this at guard we're going to be playing guard on the twos and the threes with this build in the park and the 1v1 court so we're going to go to a 70 defensive rebound just so we're serviceable when it comes to rebounding the ball and that's going to give us 22 defensive badges now what defensive badges are we going to be equipping well guess what all these tier one badges are not it especially for a guard it's not looking too good but guess what bronze anchor that's the best blocking badge in the game we're gonna have that on bronze so that's gonna be three badge points then we're gonna have bronze chase down that's gonna be six then we're gonna have silver menace that's gonna be 10 now we move on to tier three now we move on to tier three badges challenger the best defensive badge in the game we're gonna have on gold for free with our core badge then we're gonna have silver glove which is going to be six badge points now we have 16 then guess what another six badge points for silver clamps that's 22 so now we unlock three tier three badges on defense we unlocked three tier three badges on playmaking and we unlocked three tier three badges on shooting that is absolutely insane especially for a build once again that's six six max weight max wingspan now like i said speed doesn't matter as much as speed with ball but get, so we could go with an 87 speed but there's no point i'm not going to be any faster when i have the ball so we're going to go with an 85 speed to save some attributes i could only go to what an 88 anyways so it, it don't even matter anyways 85 speed and we're going to 80 acceleration which is the max on this build we're going to keep it at an 89 strength we're going to keep the vertical at a 55 
and then we're gonna put our stamina to a 99 because once again plus four for gym rat that's gonna give us 99 stamina and we do have a couple attributes left and guess what we're gonna put the rest you can really put the rest on whatever you want pass accuracy maybe plus one driving layup but there's not much left because we're at 98 so we're gonna put that to interior defense which is gonna give us an 87 interior defense and the left the we still have a little left but it only allowed put it on free throw so we're gonna have a 62 free throw and that's going to give us 99 overall this build is ridiculous let's do a quick summary we already went over the badges i'm not going to go over that again driving is that one category out of the five that i chose to be our worst because you have to choose one of them i already went over that in the video you're not going to get all of all of these elite okay and we have an 80 layup to unlock all the best layup packages we have the two some of the two best finishing badges in the game with fearless finisher and masher plus our strength is going to allow us to be a very good finisher around the rim three-pointer elite 85 three-pointer we're gonna be shooting from half court 93 ball handle unlocking every dribble move of the game the 85 speed of the ball is gonna be fast as heck with once again max weight max wing span defense is insane we have max interior defense 86 perimeter 85 steel 80 block 70 defensive rebound so we have elite shooting from half court we get every drill move possible in the game so elite playmaking and we have elite defensive stats and badges and our physicals are all up except for vertical which we don't even need because we don't have because we have a 25 driving dunk we're literally going to be elite on the court in every category and on paper we're elite in four of the five categories which is insane for this build system so here's the final badge loadout we get 8 22 23 and 22 and there's plus one badges when you hit level 39 each season oh my gosh now another thing to note that i didn't even know when making this build but there's a challenge after you make your build that you can get plus four badge points to any category so if i put that i can put that plus four anywhere if i put that plus four on finishing i'll have 12 finishing and then i start putting the plus ones i get a level 39 every season this build i'll eventually be able to put gold bully on oh my gosh that is going to be crazy this is going to be a crazy build i know that i did a lot of talking but let's go ahead and continue now another good thing about this build is it gets very good takeovers we get the ankle breaker takeover both sharp takeovers we get playmaking takeover we get lock takeover now i'm probably going to be able to change these takeovers later on when i unlock mob i'm pretty sure that's in the game some of the takeovers i'm looking at here spot up precision limitless range ankle breaker shots and extreme clamps now what i'm gonna go with now what i'm gonna go with is limitless range and ankle breaker shots to start off the year because limitless range we're gonna be shooting from behind half court and ankle burger shots we're gonna be breaking everyone's ankles with all those playing events so we're gonna go ahead and continue yes this is the build i want to make oh my gosh i cannot believe how fast we broke this build system the most complicated builder of all time we're compared to draymond green kelvin johnson dave the busher who really cares about all that but look at the build name a two-way face up four that is a glitchy name this is the build we're going for nba 2k 23 and i promise you this is the best iso build in the game i mean look at us we are max weight max wingspan we are 6'6 we are elite in every category we are elite on four of the five of the categories on paper all right, we're going to be showing some gameplay of this build. Now, I'm just going to be shooting around, dribbling around in the Bulls arena. Now, this is my build. And if you guys want my jump shot or my drill moves, drop a like in the video. Simple as that. My jumper is trick chicken. I mean, look at it. I already have the best jump shot, the best drill moves. Look at it. I don't miss. I know I'm wide open, but I have no badges. It's chicken. I know the timing. It's perfect. I know the best settings for shooting as well. It's literally godlike. And look at how I'm moving on this 6'6 max weight, max wingspan build with literally no badges i'm already going crazy my fadeaway is money i have the best fadeaway jump shot in the game so if you want the signature styles if you want the jump shot if you want the drill moves drop a like on the video i'm also gonna have my first part game gameplay out soon so make sure you have noties on for that but look at these drills i'm telling you oh my god look at me going back to the three fastest hell i already am getting glitchy with it i already found some broken drill moves they thought they could patch us iso players they thought they were gonna do it with the build system they thought they were gonna do it with the with the dribbling no they're not look at me oh my god i'm moving devious out here and this is only day one 
this is only day one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be going crazy in 2K23. It's not even gonna be funny, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm so confident in this build. I'm so confident in the jump shot and the drill moves I already have. And it's only day one. It's only gonna get better. And we're only gonna add more badges to this build with all the challenges and levels there are to get and complete. Now we're going to go over my badge setup that I would have for this build. Okay, so we have eight finishing right. So we would go with silver fast twitch and silver fearless finisher. Now when it comes to the shooting, I'm going to be going with gold guard up, gold amped, and silver green machine. Now when I unlock my core badge, I'm going to put it on silver limitless range. And then the rest of my 12 badge points are going to be used on silver dead eye and silver blinders. Going back to the finishing, actually, I'll eventually um, unlock a core badge for this as well. So when I do unlock that, I'm probably going to put silver fearless finisher, then put my core badge as silver masher, and that will leave me over with four extra finishing badges. So I'll probably go bronze fast twitch and silver acrobat. I'm not going to be using any of these tier one playmaking badges. We're going to be going with hall of fame quick first step, silver unplockable. Then we're going to unlock the tier three badges, and we're going to put our core badge on on killer combos and then we're going to get silver handles for days and gold mismatch expert and then for the defense i'm not going to be using any of these tier one badges in defense so moving on to tier two i'm going to get bronze anchor bronze chase down artist and silver menace that's going to give us 10 badge points already moving on to tier three which will be unlocking with those 10 badge points i'm going to use my core badge on gold challenger which is going to leave us over with 12 extra badge points to put on so we'll do silver clamps and silver glove i might even switch it up sometimes and instead of, of silver glove i'll use silver interceptor but otherwise i'll stick with glove now that's gonna be it for today's build video if you guys want my dribble moves because oh my god have i been labbing and our dribble moves go crazy and so does our jump shot okay if you guys want my jump shot my dribble moves more build videos for lockdown centers maybe other iso builds maybe play shots drop a like on this video and i got you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and make sure to turn on post notifications so you get notified every time i upload one of these bangers or every time i go live and also drop a like on this video if you want me to just make a full video of a full breakdown on the build system that's not even like a build video but just a full breakdown on what to know with the build system anyways y'all before i leave i'm definitely going to be transferring to the beast of the east in a second here but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace